When one door closes, another one opens, as the old saying goes, and Liverpool are found out the hard way during their mid-season training camp in Dubai. Having been out since October with a knee injury, Luis Diaz had only enjoyed two days of training before complaining of discomfort. Returning to Merseyside for further tests, reports in Colombia have since suggested that the winger will undergo surgery and be out until March. With Diogo Jota still sidelined until February with a calf injury, it leaves Jürgen Klopp rather limited when it comes to his senior attacking options heading into the second half of the season. Mohamed Salah, Roberto Firmino and Darwin Nunes are the only traditional options available. Now Liverpool must consider whether they will look to sign a new forward in January to compensate for Diaz's layoff. However, as the Reds return to action against Lyon for their first friendly in the Dubai Super Cup, Klopp was able to turn to a couple of previously overlooked alternatives to fill that current vacant left-wing role. It was Fabio Cavallio who started in that position, lining up alongside Firmino and Salah as he wasted no time in making an impact against the League One side with just 40 seconds on the clock. He strode home into an unguarded net to give Liverpool the lead after a good team move. Meanwhile, he played a vital role as the Reds nearly doubled the lead, only for Mo Salah's penalty to be saved. It was the 20-year-old link-up at the Egyptian that had played in Firmino to win the spot kick in the first place. Now, Liverpool were the better side for the majority of the first half against Lyon, having started so quickly, and the free-flowing movement and link-up play between the front three was key to that. The French side just couldn't handle them during that explosive start. However, the Reds would slow and tire, which is to be expected from a first friendly back, and when the substitutions started to flow in the second half, they lost their rhythm on the way to a 3-1 loss. By that point, Cavalio was already on the bench, having been replaced at half-time, with Liverpool ultimately looking sharpest when he was on the pitch. It's been a rollercoaster season for the forwards so far since joining the Reds. He scored two goals from 16 appearances, and he slowly found his feet at Anfield. In truth, he's perhaps played more than was expected in his opening months with the club due to the injuries in the squad. Yet, as to be expected with a young player, his performances have been inconsistent. Six of those outings have come from the start with him being replaced at half-time in two and only complete 90 minutes once. It's clear he's got talent, but it will take time to truly unlock his potential at Anfield. When the Reds signed Cavallo from Fulham, Klopp lauded him as a versatile player who can play up front, on the wing, as a number 10 and as a number 8. To date, we've seen him in all four of those positions, and while there have been glimpses of the aforementioned talent, it's not yet clear what role he will grow into to make his own. But perhaps Diaz's potential layoff until March will give him a fresh opportunity to nail down a position, with Cavallo's bright first off showing against Leon a glimpse into whether he can now be turned into a left sided playmaker, much in the mould of Philip Coutinho. At the very least, he offered an attacking threat and retained the goal, something they will need to see more of in 2023 regardless. Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain replaced the youngs at the break but was unable to make much of an impact in the role as Liverpool floundered. Out of contract next summer, he's expected to move on in 2023. He still finished the defeat to Lyon with the captain's armband and was actually stationed centrally as a striker once Leighton Stewart was forced off with injury. If he finds some rhythm in the weeks ahead, he too could be an alternative for Diaz in Jota's absence. Big games lie on the horizon as Liverpool look to force their way into the Premier League top four, progress in the Champions League and defend both domestic cups. They will need everybody available to compete on all fronts. Yet as popular as Oxlade-Chamberlain is within the squad, he will soon be Liverpool's past. Cavellio has been signed to be the Reds' future, with the choice of which of the pairs started alongside Salah and Firmino as the other emerged from the bench rather telling. As a result, that future might be here sooner than you think, whether you like it or not with the former Fulham youngster now next up in Klopp's pecking order after those injury woes struck once again.